Hi, this is Jeff Spence, your Math 120 instructor for the Community College of Denver. And this is our video lecture over section 7.2, which covers linear functions and their graphs. But honestly, mostly what we're going to be doing here is looking at calculating slope and understanding that as a rate of change. So mostly we'll be looking at objective 2 and objective 5, calculating slope and interpreting slope as a rate of change. We want you to be able to look at a graph, a linear graph, and be able to compute a rate of change over a period of time. I think that's a pretty useful thing to look at if we're looking at, say, tuition increases or population increases or decreases of various kinds to be able to understand it as a rate of change. So we're going to jump right into the slope. Um, this is an algebra formula, if you remember from that, uh, taking algebra class. If we have two distinct points, so the last section we were looking at points, we're going to label them x1, y1, which really just means the first point, and x2, y2 as the second point, slope. Uh, generally represents a change in y over a change in x, sometimes referred to as rise over run. And the technical formula is your y2 minus y1, which is the difference in the two y's, divided by the difference in the two x's. Okay, So um, if we have this point here, you can look at the slope as really we're doing, we're computing the rise, the difference in the y-coordinates, and we're dividing that by the difference in the x-coordinates, the run. And that gives us the rate of change, kind of like miles per hour or calories per minute or um, dollars per year or something like that if we're talking about tuition increase. So here's just an example how to use the formula. Let's say we have two points. What we will be expecting you to do on a particular problem is to be able to look at a graph and uh, fit, uh, write, out, write out the two points. So you would have to actually write these two points out and then compute the slope. So let's say we have the point negative 3, negative 1 here, and the point negative 2, 4, and we're going to follow the formula. So uh, we're going to do y2 minus y1. So we have the general formula here. So we're going to do 4 minus negative 1. 4 minus negative 1 is 5, because when you subtract a negative, it turns into a positive. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And then negative 2 minus negative 3. Negative, it's the same as negative 2 plus 3, so we get 1. 5 over 1 is the slope, or 5. Um, just so you know, when we were looking at uh, equations of lines, this slope part of the formula is our m in the formula. You'll see y equals mx plus b. You might remember that from algebra class as well. m represents the slope, and that's the rate of change. So if you look at a f you know, couple linear equations here, 2 would represent the slope, or 1 half would represent the slope. So uh, in real life problems, really slope is defined as a ratio of change in y to a corresponding change in x, interpreted as a rate of change. So this is really where we're going to look at it in an applied situation. So if we have these, uh, these two uh, lines here showing the percentage of American men and women that are aged 20 to 24 who were married from 1970 to, through 2010, it says find the slope or rate of change of the lines. So we'll ask you, find the rate of change of the line segment representing women. Describe what the slope represents. So we can look at these two endpoints. Um, in 1970, 65% of women were ages 20 to 24 were married. And in 2010, only 21% of women ages 20 to 24 were married. So we're going to, clearly there's a decrease and we want to know what percent per year was this decreasing. That's really the point. I mean, clearly women, the percent of women age 20 to 24 uh, that are married is decreasing. We can see that. But we want to know per year, what's this, what's this decrease per year? Because we can see that it went from 65% to 21%. So we're going to do the x to you know the the classic formula y2 minus y1 so here are two points we have y2 which is 20 21 minus 65 over x2 minus x1 2010 minus 1970 so over a period of 40 years <coughs> excuse me over a period of 40 years the percentage dropped 44% which shows a negative 1.1% decrease per year that's really important to understand what the unit means. Remember, we're doing percents divided by years. So it's percent per year. So it says the slope indicates that from the period from 1970 to 2010, the percentage of married women ages 20 to 24 decreased by 
one per year. So really the answer is the rate of change is a decrease of 1.1% per year. Okay, because we're taking percents and dividing per year. So uh, that, I don't know, I had that last slide, sorry, in there. But yeah, that's mostly what we'll do is an example very much like this where we have you look at a graph, convert, compute the slope using the formula and understand it as a rate of change with the units in there. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Good luck.